Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. It feels so good to be able to say that. Welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for about a month, and I moved. I moved. I am going from a studio apartment to a two-bedroom apartment with a laundry room, a kitchen, a dining room. It's incredible. And you are currently sitting in my wax room. Now, it's not 100% complete yet. I'm still working on the lighting situation and all that jazz, but I have so many videos to film. I've missed talking to you guys. It was a nice little month break. Got a lot of stuff done in life and moving. That was a huge part of everything, but I'm so excited to sit down in front of the camera for this new chapter of my life. I turned 25, so 25 is a new year, new chapter of my life. There's going to be fun new content, a lot of lifestyle content. I want to show house tours. I want to, you know, do vlogs. There's a lot of things that I really want to do with my YouTube channel that's outside of wax and candles, even though that is my passion and the, that is why a lot of people are here. But I wanted to sit down, film this video today, and introduce this new chapter as well as do a huge sassy girl around my hall. This is a combination of two hauls from the March 4th pre-order and then I believe the March 15th pre-order or 23rd, something like that. My first one was only six brittles. My second pre-order was a bit larger. But without further ado, this video is going to be super, super long. I want to get this out because my latest Sassy Girl or my pre-order already shipped. So they're ro rolling in and I need to get these videos filmed for you guys. I hope the lighting's okay. I'm going to play with it a little bit, but this is just an intro and let's get into the haul. I have my six Vertles from my first order. I don't remember where my sample went for them, but I have the samples for the other one. The first brittle I got was On the Pier, and this is her dupe of Summer Boardwalk. I already have this in a loaf, but I needed it in a brittle. It's caramel drizzled popcorn, sweet candy apple, sweet cream, and a touch of sea salt. If you're familiar with the Bath & Body Works Summer Boardwalk candle, it's the same. It's so just caramely, a little bit sweet, a little bit salty, that fresh mac apple in there. Oh, it is fantastic, and it is going to be so good for the summer. Next, we have Ghosts and Goblins, and I saw so many people talking about this, and dropped it, and it sounds like something that's totally up my alley. And it is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Marshmallow Fireside, Cider Lane, and Blackberry. So it's interesting with the blackberry in there. This is so good. You definitely get Marshmallow Fireside and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. It's like a very gooey, yummy Pumpkin Pecan Waffle scent. But of course, my love, my Cider Lane, my ooey, gooey, delicious caramel is in there as well as a hint of that fruitiness of the blackberry. This is gonna be so, so good in the fall time. I cannot wait to try that one. Next one we have is ice cream and pistachios. And this is pistachio, almond, and vanilla bean. And I believe this is a dupe for the Bath & Body Works pistachio ice cream, and it is. I think this ice cream and pistachios is a good one for people who are getting into pistachio but are a little bit nervous. It has that pistachio note in there. You definitely can smell it, but I personally find that it's a lot mellow and it's not as in your face. And I think the ice cream note really creams up that pistachio. It's, it's so pretty. You have to think Bath & Body Works sells to the mass market, so they're going to obviously not be as intense as the vendor wax. Now this one is a psychiatric ward, and oh, it matches my hair. And this is butter cookies with blackberry, so blackberry jam butter cookies, strawberry jam, vanilla bean noel donuts, and zucchini. This one, I did already snip all these. It is phenomenal. I love this so much. Her blackberry jam butter cookie note oil is so good. Julie has such a good blackberry jam butter cookie. 
and you smell that. You smell the vanilla bean oil, the strawberry jam. It's a very, very rich jam cookie. If you like blackberry jam butter cookie, but sometimes you feel like it could come across perfumey, where you maybe want a little bit more from it, I think this one is fabulous. This one, really standout favorite for me, and this is Sand Castle. This is Beach Nights and Summer Scoop. Now, Summer Scoop is like a strawberry ice cream oil. It's a dupe for Yankee Candle. And then Beach Nights is that salty sea air s'mores deliciousness scent from Bath & Body Works that I'm obsessed with. And Julie really made me obsessed with it. And this, stellar. Stellar, blow me out of the house strong. I mean, I haven't melted it yet, but like, in the bag, you get the Beach Nights, that really sweet, salty, ooey gooey scent, and you get the creamy, creamy, very vanilla based strawberry ice cream. That's how I feel. I feel like the strawberry ice cream that Summer Scoop resembles is a very light pink strawberry ice cream. Almost like a vanilla ice cream with fresh strawberries folded in. Oh, so good, so good, so good. I would wear this as a perfume. And then the last one from this order is Huckleberry Beach. So it's Beach Nights mixed with Huckleberries. And also, I just found that I love Huckleberry. Huckleberry is such a warm berry scent. It's nothing super crazy. I feel like if you don't like strawberry or blackberry or raspberry, because like, they're like a little sharp, I feel like Huckleberry is a very mellow, warm berry scent. And it is to die for. I love this. Love it mixed with the huckleberry. Or mixed with the beach nights. And beach nights is toasted marshmallow, sea salt, breeze, and s'mores. And then the huckleberry beach is mixed with cotton candy and huckleberry. It's like a very sweet, warm berry mixed with the beach nights. That was such a good small little order, but mighty. Sometimes it is nice to just get a little small order, but I can never just do a small order. This next one is huge. We're gonna start small with the samples. So I did get two samples. The first one I got is Thunder Rolls. Now Thunder Rolls is the dupe for Scentsy's Thunderstorm. I should melt it honestly right now in this room because it is a very watery, aquatic, little bit warm masculine scent. I really like Thunderstorm and it's nice to have like those aquatic scents like that for when it is raining outside and it is storming outside now. I love those sense when it sets the mood when it's outside. And then we have Buttercup. Now, I believe it was Natalie, Melt with Nat and Jack. I watched her haul, and she said she got a little bit of a perfumey note, and then some others were commenting and said that too, where, to me, it is, it is, it's supposed to be like a lemon pastry with powdered sugar, and I get that, but I feel like it's almost if a body care scent was supposed to be lemon pastry. So like you get that like body care base. This is really pretty. It's not offered in the pre-order that's open now, but when it is offered, I definitely want to try it because I really, really like this buttercup scent. I think I think it was a knockout of the park. All right, let's do the ones that I got doubles of. I got quite a few doubles. The first one I got is We'll Always Have Paris. I got two of these guys, and this is roasted coffee, vanilla cream, and brioche. And you guys, this is her dupe for Paris Cafe from Bath & Body Works. Dead on. It smells just like it, and I think what really is captured here is the brioche. That bread note, because brioche is like a sweet bread, mixed with that roasty, toasty coffee and creamy vanilla. It is such a good coffee scent. And I'm so excited to melt this in my living room, burning a Paris Cafe candle like on a day off, snuggled on the couch, watching a good movie on like a rainy Sunday morning. This is fabulous. Mm. Love, love will always have Paris. So excited that uh, Sassy Girl has it now. Oh, I already talked about this. This is Night on the Beach, which is her plain beach nights. And I love that she offered this in this pre-order because I've tried so many beach nights blends from her, but I've never tried beach nights on its own. And it's fantastic. I actually ordered this and Palo Santo Plain, which is called Steamy and Dreamy, in perfumes in this last pre-order. Really excited to get that one. 
Then we have two in pretzels in the kitchen, and this is pretzels, cookies, birthday cake, Twinkies, and vanilla butter fudge. So that's her in the kitchen blend mixed with pretzels. This is definitely a yeasty pretzel. And I remember when I first started melting pretzel, I was a little like on the fence because I was like, ugh, I don't really like that salty yeasty. But when you pop it in the warmer, I say this now, every time I talk about pretzel, it's a true representation of when you pop something like a pretzel in the oven. It comes alive, it fills your home. It's the same way, when you pop a pretzel scent in the warmer, it like cooks, it comes alive. And this pretzels in the kitchen is gonna do that, I can already tell. Oh, I got a couple pretzels in this order and I'm not mad at any of them. It's a very gooey, buttery, yeasty pretzel. I got two of Sawdust Days. Shout out to my girl Charity. I know how much she loves this scent. This is caramel apple, cotton candy, salted brown sugar, vanilla, and kettle corn. Very reminiscent of a circus concession type of scent. And it is. Circus concession is so good. Caramel apple, salted caramel, brown sugar, kettle corn, all the goodies. All right. So those were all of the doubles that I got. As far as singles, I picked up another Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Please, let's start a conversation in the comments. Cupcakes at Tiffany's, I don't understand the hype. I want to stock up on it because I hear the oil's really hard to get a hold of. It's going up in price. And but when it's blended with things, I really like it. But I find that on its own, it's just okay to me. It's toffee, tiny chocolate, fruity buttercream, and creamy vanilla butter cake, or fluffy vanilla cake. It just smells like a cupcake, like a basic cupcake. I'm not sure, but I also have never warmed it just plain on its own. I do have a couple brittles, and I think I have a loaf from Sassy Girl in this, but I have to look at my spreadsheet. But yeah, I, I like the scent. I just don't understand the huge hype. Tell me, like, if you guys have melted on its own, does that one truly, like, come alive? Oh, boy. <laughs> strawberry soda. Carson and I were talking about this the other day. Bubbly strawberry, juicy raspberry, peach, vanilla, and musk. This is not on Julie. This is gross. It is the dupe for Bath & Body Works strawberry soda, which came out in shower gel during semi-annual sale. It's, like, the cheapest, thick, strawberry goop that you've ever smelled like like they pump like this artificial thick strawberry syrup into like seltzer mm -mm. i do i do not like that that is such a bizarre like scent i hope it comes alive differently but i don't i don't know if i can melt that one it's just a very artificial strawberry scent Next, Spring Fling, and this is Pomegranate, Lemon, Strawberry, Lime, Sugar, Vanilla, and Rhubarb. This is a dupe for Bath & Body Works Pomegranate Lemonade, and it sure is. I love Pomegranate Lemonade. That's a scent that you never know if they're going to bring it back or not. Oh, and I'm so glad Julie has it. Tart, really tart, fruity lemonade with just a twist of pomegranate. Juicy, rich pomegranate. So good. Pink zucchini, pink sugar, and zucchini bread. Zucchini bread is such a good scent. Mixed with pink sugar, I don't know why, but pink sugar is a perfume blended with a bakery. Crazy, wouldn't think they work together. They work so well together. So well. Love this scent, 10 out of 10. That is fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Love pink zucchini. Next, we have Strawberry Twist. Now, this strawberry, I love. Sweet strawberries, fresh squeezed lemons, and a touch of lime. This, to my nose, smells like a strawberry cocktail. Like you ordered a really fruity strawberry cocktail at a restaurant. Totally, 100%, that's what it smells like. And I'm not mad about it. I love it. I love that, like, fruity cocktail type of note in this. Oh, rich strawberry cocktail. So good. I want to drink that. Next, we have Blue Volcano, which is tropical fruit, citrus, and a hint. No. Citrus, sugar, and a hint of floral. And this is a dupe for the Capri Blue Volcano candle, which is totally it. It's like sugary citrus fruit 
with a hint of greenery. And that greenery just adds it. If you've been into anthropology, this is the candle that they burn in the anthropology store. And I love it so very much. It's a citrusy, great scent. This is going to be one that I melt whenever, like, my whole living room is complete and furnished. It's almost there. And I invite people over for the first time to see the apartment. And I'm going to melt that in there because it's very inviting and people love it. Next, we have blueberry pie. This is juicy blueberries, spice, sugar, warm vanilla, and dough. And this is a dupe, supposedly, for Bath & Body Works blueberry pie. I think it's way better. This is such a realistic blueberry pie scent. Like, when you get a blueberry pie, it is that, like, gelatinous goo, but it's loaded with blueberries. Rich, plump blueberries. Totally good. Totally yummy. Oh, the pie crust note, too, in here you get, like a buttery, flaky pie crust, and a rich blueberry bakery. I happen to love Blueberry Bakery. I know people can take it or leave it. I absolutely love it. Now this one is Pretzel Bakery. Caramel pretzels, ice cream scoop bread, sugar cookie dough, and zucchini. I love this. Now this, to my nose, smells like a hard pretzel. Like those Utz's pretzels that you got like a big container of rods that you know they're sitting in the office and everybody nibbles them. That's literally what this smells like. Like you open a jar of like Woods's hard pretzels or roll gold or whatever brand you like. Yeah, that's totally what it smells like. Like ice cream scoop bread, caramel, zucchini, sure. But it smells like a hard pretzel to me. Totally like a hard pretzel. This one is Mellow Lavender. This I got as a sample in one of my orders and I fell in love with it. This is a sweet, relaxing marshmallow and vanilla with a hint of lavender. Love this scent, you guys. It's the Lavender Marshmallow Dupe from Bath & Body Works, which my candle wall is right here, and it's literally right here. Oh, I can't wait to melt this when I burn the, that candle. <sighs> if you like Lavender Marshmallow, totally. To me, and my nose, it's like an herbal lavender mixed with marshmallow. Now, this one I ordered in a squeeze me, but she did say that there was like an issue with the packaging or something, so she did pour this one in brittles, and this is Sacrifice. Salted caramel, pretzel, and vanilla bean Noel. I ordered all the pretzel blends from this pre-order. I just had to. This is good. It's definitely like that hard pretzel, but to me, I pick up on the caramel aspect on it a lot. A lot more than pretzel bakery. That caramel note really comes through with the pretzel. Totally. And the caramel is slightly burnt. Not like a nasty burnt scent, but like a little bit burnt. Then we have toasted zucchini cookies. Toasted marshmallow, sugar cookies, and zucchini bread. Love me a zucchini bread. And love this. This does remind me of the VCS zucchini bread because her zucchini bread is very, very creamy. This is a very, very creamy zucchini bread. And I think because of the marsh or the yeah, the marshmallow and the sugar cookie blender with it, it kind of makes it like a very creamy zucchini, which honestly is my favorite form of zucchini bread. I actually, when this came in, smelled this side by side with Sassy Girl's regular zucchini bread, and I definitely prefer this one. It just doesn't have as big of a punch like that spikes to it, like the other ones do. Next, we have Brandy's Coffee House. Fresh brewed coffee, birthday cake, and zucchini. This is good. It's a very light roasted coffee mixed with zucchini. I was expecting a lot more coffee, but it's not. I want to try all of her coffees. This is good. It's definitely like a hint of coffee. I tried to beat it right before the camera shut off, but I missed it. We're only human, right? Next, I have Chillin', and this is fresh cucumber slices and soothing lily with a hint of green tea. And this is a dupe of the Bath & Butter Works Cucumber and Lily, which is so pretty. I got it in a hand soap. I have it over here in a candle. I really like it. The cucumber, very reminiscent of cucumber melon, very watery, very fresh and spa-like. Mixed with the green tea and the lily, it's so pretty. Mmm, I really like it. Let me know if you ordered Chillin'. This is just a really nice, like, calming, serene scent. Next, we have Frosted Lemon Cookies. 
fresh from the oven sugar cookies, toast frosted with a sugared lemon frosting. Ah, so good. Lemon bakery, like a crumble lemon cookie with beautiful frosting on top. Love, love, love. Love this one. Love the lemon cookie. Love the frosted sugar cookie. Ah, oh, really good. Like a really rich, decadent, buttery cookie with a lemon frosting. Next, we have Cookie Monster Pretzels. Fresh baked sugar cookie topped with a gooey marshmallow and a hot doughy pretzel. Why does that just sound so good? A hot doughy pretzel. Like, yum. Mm-hmm. A hot doughy pretzel. 100%. Rich, decadent, gooey pretzel, bakery cookie. Mm. Oh, I love this. I love, 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 love this. I can't get enough. Mm. Her pretzel is so good. And I am having a moment with pretzel lately. Like, if it has pretzel in it, sign me up. Mm. It's a very cookie pretzel. Like, if you had a cookie and you put pretzels in it. That just doesn't stop, does it? Oh, pretzel bakery. I thought I got two of this one. That's the one that I said smells just like an Utz's pretzel. Next, we have October Kiss. This is pumpkin pecan waffle, butter brickle, and zucchini bread. Yum. Now, butter brickle to me, this smells like you'd made a homemade loaf of pumpkin bread and you just poured hot butter, like the butter that, like clarified butter that you would put on top of like lobster, but you put it on top of pumpkin bread and it's soaked in. And when you sliced a piece of pumpkin bread, all that drippy, gooey butter was inside. Oh, fabulous. Makes me hungry. And then the last but not least brittle I have is wild jam and donuts, brown sugar crumbles, powdered donut, and wild berry jam. And this is the dupe for wild berry jam donut from Bath & Body Works, and it smells exactly the same. Like a true raised donut filled and stuffed with the most delicious berry jam topped with powdered sugar. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. So, those were all my brittles. Those were all of my brittles, a lot of them. I did pick up two, two loaves. The first one I picked up was Big Bird's Birthday. This is one of my favorite lemon bakeries offered from Sassy Girl. I got it in a brittle, fell in love with it. This is cotton candy, lemon curd, and birthday cake. And I do double bag my loaves because I store them all together. Oh yeah, this is so good. This is literally like the best lemon bakery. Well, pause. The best lemon bakery is Destination Wax Lemon Chiffon Cake. 10 out of 10. I had that melting here the other day. Oh my god. My empties videos, totally different direction now that I have like lower ceilings and closed rooms. I had a sassy girl scent go for over two days in my bedroom. Crazy. But yeah, this is like a rich lemon birthday cake bakery. The cotton candy just adds the right amount of sweetness to take away from some of the tartness from the lemon. So good. And then I blame Angela for this one. Out of the bread box, I think everybody ordered this scent because of her. And this is pretzel, caramel, coffee, and vanilla B. Noel. I already have two brittles. I had to go in for the loaf. And this is so good. The pretzel coffee combo. I mean, it sounds so good. I would never eat a pretzel with coffee. Maybe that's just me. But this is like a delicious, rich pretzel with coffee. I cannot wait to pop one of those brittles in my warmer this week because I want to melt all my favorites this week, my first full week in the apartment, and I just want to bask in all the deliciousness. This is so fabulous. Woo, love it. And this order arrived on May 13th. I put the little sticker here on the day that I got them, so that way I know how long I have them in my stash. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited that you're continuing to subscribe to my channel, watch my content. Again, 25, new chapter. Thank you all so much for all the kind words and the support over the last month. 
on the move, on everything in life. I really appreciate everyone so much. Have a fantastic day. Remember, you matter. Let's make it a better world and be kind. I love you all so much. Bye, guys.